During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about what is a water table and how can you manage it? Well, this is certainly a big topic, not just in farming, but really everywhere. I, I think about it around my house. Where's the water table at? And yep. if we get a lot of rain, I'm really nervous about, man, is that water table rising? Because I might see water in my sump pump. Okay, so what the water table really is, that's the level of the overall soil water where it's basically we're going to call it all water okay let me describe it this way in normal soil for crop production we talk about there being roughly 50 percent dirt 25 percent air and 25 percent water if you've got a situation where it's 50 percent dirt and 50 percent water well you're probably into the water table that water table is going to come up from down below and usually where we farm in the midwestern united states a lot of times that water table really rises early in the spring well and this is a big concern for farmers because one of the things that you want to have happen no matter if you're growing a lawn or growing a crop we want to see a deep root system because we know summer's coming temperatures are going to warm up and we need those roots to be down deep to access water and nutrients down in the soil throughout the growing season if you've got a water table that's rising wherever that water table is that water is going to fill what would have been airspace. And if there's no air in the soil, well, roots can't survive and soil microbes are gonna have a tough time too. So we wanna keep that water table in check. So whether it's around your house or it's out in your field, that's where we talk about drain tile. And the purpose of drain tile is simply to get water flowing out and only when the water table rises above the level of the tile line does that tile run. So just because it rains, for example, let's say even you get a two inch rain, well that doesn't mean that your, your tile line is going to run. The only way the tile line runs is if at the same time, while it's raining, or even if it's not raining, doesn't really matter, is if that water table rises, and again, if it gets above the level of the tile line, then the, the tile line will run. So you may be asking, where do you want to control that water table at? At what depth? Do you want it to be just below the soil surface or do you want it to be down deeper? Obviously we want it to be down a little ways in the soil. Most farmers are running their tile lines at three or four feet deep. So they've got adequate room for that root system to expand. Think about at your house too. When you've got tile lines running around the outside, around your foundation, where do you want those lines to be? You want them to be below your basement floor. So when the water table comes up, the tile lines can catch it and it runs into your sump pump and you don't have water coming up into your basement. Out in fields, farmers know that they're not gonna put tile lines every five feet through the field. They're probably gonna space them out at 40 feet, 50 feet, maybe even wider. Well, in between those tile lines, the water table is gonna be a little bit higher. So they know if they're down three or four feet down those lines, even where that water table is a little bit higher in between, it may only get up to two feet, still leaving adequate room for the root system. But there is a difference. If let's say you were in a very wet area, let's say in your area you get 80 inches of rain per year, you might want that water table to be down at five feet or even six feet so you have a little more capacity. In other words, if you're getting all these big rains all the time, it's very easy for that water table to go from six feet to four feet. Well, if you start it at four feet and it goes up to two feet, all of a sudden you got a whole bunch of dead roots. So again, the main thing here is we're just talking about the water table and when the water rises, that pushes out all the air, that kills plant roots. In some cases, it kills entire plants. It also kills a lot of the beneficial soil microbes. So it's something that farmers want to manage and certainly around your house, you want to manage that water table as well. Well, one other thing that we all want to manage is tough to control weeds growing in unwanted places. If you've got our Weed of the Week, it's certainly one you want to stop. We'll show you how later in the show.